How's it going everybody? Chaos Gaming here and yes we are back with some more My Hero Ultra Impact and in today's video we are going to be breaking down the brand new Season 7 Himiko Toga who is going to be coming into the game sometime soon. So with that being said let's not waste any more time let's pull this shit right down up and ladies and gentlemen let us get started with today's video and you can let me know down below how hype are you for this Toga coming into the game. So let's start off with her plus ultra skill which is the Sadamans Death Parado. Deals 650% damage to a single opponent. Damage increased by 10% relative to the opponent's max HP up to 30,000. Cancels all of the character's temporary status ailments. Increases the skill's critical hit rate by 40% when characters agile. Oh my gosh, he has agile. I hate this effect. Out of all of the effects in the game, agile is the worst for me. Because I don't know with agile, you have a chance at missing your freaking move. Unless it's AoE and plus ultra. Those are the only two that does not miss at all. So I'm hoping if anything she does have an AoE. Because otherwise than that, I'm already not liking this character. If the opponent is bleeding, increases the skill's critical skill pack by 40%. And a high chance of causing the opponent to bleed for 3 turns. First action skill which is going to be the Relentless Deadly Blades. Deal 400% damage to a single opponent. Damage increases by 5% relative to the opponent's max HP up to 10,000. If the opponent is bleeding, the source 15% of the character's taken damage for 3 turns. Medium chance of causing the opponent to bleed for 3 turns. The cooldown is for 4 turns. Second action skill, which is going to be the Knife Carnival. There's 300% damage to all opponents. Thank the Lord she has all opponents. Increases critical resistance of all opponents that are bleeding by 30% for 3 turns. Medium chances of causing the opponent to bleed for 3 turns. The cooldown is for 4 turns. Now, Critical resistance is a good thing to have on a character on AoE. However, I feel like she should have had a little bit more. Maybe what they could have done is at least give her lower defense by 30% or less. Or if they wanted to be a little bit, you know, crazy with it, speed and power. That would have been awesome as well. First auto skill, which is going to be my own expression of love. Makes character agile when character's HP is 50% or higher. Increases character's critical error rate by 6% if character does not initiate a critical attack one time up to 5 times. Regenerates HP of all allies excluding herself by 10% for 3 turns after character initiates 3 critical attacks. Multi-head attacks equal 1 attack. Makes character aesthetic for 3 turns after character initiates 5 critical attacks. Multi-head attacks equal 1 attack. Gives all allies excluding herself the ability to nullify status ailments for 1 turn after character initiates 5 critical attacks. Gives character the ability to evade two times when character's HP is below 50% up to one time. Now, I'm not a fan of the fact that she is not getting some of the support that she is giving to all her allies. If anything, I feel like she should have just got to screw it. And basically with this character, you want to make sure you have a support memory or a character on the team that is giving her boosted crit rate. Because if she's getting boost crit rate, she's going to be getting all of these effects for free. Second auto skill, which is going to be the Innocent Transformation, increases max HP of all STR type allies by 25%. When character is agile, gives character ability to penetrate. So this is the third STR type character in the game that has penetrate. The first one was Medical, second one was the Midoriya, and then finally we have this Toga with it. And increases character's bleeding hit rate. After two turns pass, while character is agile, gives all allies the ability to evade one time up to three times. This does not affect guests. When character's HP is not agile, increases character's critical resistance by 30% for... No, oh, never mind, my bad, it's just permanent. Why well, do I don't even know why I set for turns? Character's critical resistance by 30% and restores character's HP by 20% relative to the damage dealt. So overall with this character, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like you could skip her and you'll be just fine. But if you are a big Toga fan, by all means, go summon for her. Go crazy, go stupid, go burn. Now let's take a look at her art real quick. So this is her Arno Wicked art right there. This looks like from the new quirk skill set that we are going to be getting an Ultra Rumble later on in like two days from now. So I like this art right here. And then the Awakened art, I definitely like this one. This one looks sick to me. The only thing I wish they added, and it's just a small little thing. I feel like it doesn't affect it at all. Add more clones in the background. Or, you know what would have been sicker? They added like the twice clones and then you like see for a couple of seconds, you see like... For Rocka's face, Froppy's face, and the other characters' faces that were in that fight right there. Oh my god, that would have been absolutely sick. But now let's take a look at the support memories that are going to be coming with this Toga. The first one being Gazing as they grow. If anything, this is not coming with Toga. 
This is the support memory that is going to be releasing for Club Festival, which is coming out in two days. Actually, no, tomorrow. My bad. What the hell? Increases character's plus ultra move skill impact by 40% when equipped by a UA high class 1A character. If there are any UA high teachers on the team, reduces damage to all character sorry, to all allies, excluding character by 20% for three turns up to one time, and gives them the ability to cover allies for three turns up to one time. And every three turns, increases character's plus ultra gauge by 20% up to two times so overall for a defensive character i can see this ah uh, i can see this being okay but let's take a look at the art right here like the art i like it they cook with this man absolutely cook with this for free now let's take a look at the other support memory that is going to be coming out uh after this ad real quick i guess <laughs> this one being all my blood to you when characters agile increases characters critical hit rate by 45 percent and critical skill impact by 20 percent Increases character's max HP by 30% when equipped by a female character. After two turns pass while characters add dial, reduces character's cooldown time by one up to three times. Regenerates character's HP by 10% for three turns when character's HP is below 50% up to one time. Now I feel like this support memory is just missing one more thing and that is speed. If it would have boosted speed by at least 30%, this would have been an awesome support memory to have on the toga. So. The R right here, it's looking clean as hell. Oh my god. They are cooking with this one right here. But let's take a look at what it does. Level 1. So the numbers go down from 35, 20, 30. Wait, 30 is the same no matter what. Okay, never mind. So 35, 20, then 40, then 45. And then you gain the extra effect at 45% to critical hit rate. Okay. The SR support memory now that's going to be featured on the banner. It is Unleashed Tenacity, increases character's critical hit rate by 30% when equipped by a STR type character, and it increases character's critical skill impact by 25% if there are any villains on the team. This is the art which I feel like this is absolutely wasted on an SR support memory. What the hell? This would have been a perfect UR support memory. Comment down below if you agree. If I see anybody that disagrees, we're all jumping them. I'm joking, but you know, this definitely should have been a UR support memory. We got hold here. I'm sorry. I said the word. Yep, I absolutely said it. Next SR support memory is going to be This Is Me. When character's HP is below 50%, makes character agile for three turns up to one time. I will never put the support memory on a character unless we have a climax battle that requires you to be agile. If that is not the case, you can miss me with this. And gives character the ability to make a last stand one time up to one time. When characters add down character's critical hit rate by 35% and critical skill impact by 35%. It's the art with our boy on the screen, uh, Soji. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. And I'm guessing that's in in terms of the support memory and everything else that is featured on the website. Yep, that is. Oh, actually, one thing, but we could go over to the Discord and figure that out. I said, yeah, let's just go to Discord. So I'll be right back with the Discord. Ready to go, folks. All right, now here we are on the Discord checking out additional information that we have probably missed out on on the website. So with that being said, let's get straight to it. So we got the Club Festival Support Special Sale that is going to be out. As you know, they always feature a bunch of stuff to try to make you waste money, but don't ever fall for the trap unless you really need it. Next, we got the fifth Club Festival that is going to be going on. Only green characters and MND characters get an advantage, but we already know all the time when we do club festival that really doesn't matter we just need the team that will work the best not well best up against the enemies that we are going up against on that specific day which as you guys already know that i'm going to be doing every day covering what bosses we are going to be going up against next we have the halloween special lineup you are recruit tickets which again waste money you get a character off these tickets which is like 40 50 something bucks i don't know we have the club festival support battle select recruit which Hawks and Toga are going to be featured on. Toga, a yellow character. Hawks, also a yellow character. Which, it's not just Hawks on that character. It's Hawks and Endeavor. Next, we got the Climax Battle Select Recruit. So, if you guys earlier, remember what I said, was that I was going to bring up the fact that we are getting Climax Battle All Might is returning. Now, I don't have this character currently. So, hopefully, when we do take that man on, I will be ready to go and have them in my arsenal. And this time, I learned my lesson, which is do the S and A rank missions. The moment you get there, do not, absolutely do not do it in the middle 
of your climax battle like session 10 days later or something like that because you are going to get absolutely destroyed when it comes to getting enough currency to max out the character that you're trying to get. We have a banner that is going to be coming back at Impact Fest featuring Celebration Bakugo and Celebration Midoriya. Now would I say this is worth it with tickets? Yes. If you want to go in gems you can as well but I suggest you hold on with that a little bit. Maybe do like one multi and call it a day because we're always going to get another character that is better than these two. It's going to happen eventually. Next we have uh, the new action score icon for Toga which I love when they do this. Halloween item which is a bunch of pumpkins. I'm liking this as well. We got the Club Fest 5th place, so this is 1st place, 2nd place, 3rd uh, place, Elite, and the last one is Braviary. Braviary? <sighs> As you guys saw, I'm currently watching. Wait, no. Brave? Bravery. Okay, there we go. As as you guys saw, currently I am watching Black and White. Um, we got the information for the kits, the support memories. The Impact Fest is going to be coming out literally today, as soon as Reset happens. Um... We got the Club Festival Support Battle Selected Crew coming on October 10th. Then we got the 5th Club Festival literally starting today. It's starting to- I thought it was tomorrow! Guys, I haven't slept the whole night. If anything, I had to go outside because my mom wasn't feeling well, so I took her to the hospital, if anything. And now, they're gonna start this literally the day of Sparking Zero. What the hell, dude? Absolutely insane. Uh, we got the TV Anime 7 Season Climax Hot Picks that are going to be coming out on October 11th. We have the Ultra Impact Character Select Crew that is going to be coming out on October 13th. The Assemble Battlefront Event which is going to be coming out with the Toga on October 16th. And I basically, it, anything else that I need to know about? These are the stage rules I'm assuming for All Might but we'll go over those when All Might comes out. So with that, that is where we're ending today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but it's always greatly appreciated. Also subscribe. Again, let me know down below how hype for you Toga. And with that, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.